Now I would approach number three with a tree diagram. So the first thing is children are either born as a multiple birth or a single birth. And in the stem of the problem, they tell us the probability of a multiple birth is 0 0.035. So we can find the probability of a single birth uh, by finding the complement of that. So a single birth must have a probability of 0 0.965. Then for each of these branches, you're either left or not left. So we'll draw that for each of those. Now they tell us if you're a multiple birth, the probability of left is 0.22. That means the probability of not left for a multiple birth, once again by finding the complement, would be 0.78. Now for single births, it's 0.11. The complement of that is 0.89. Now to find the probability a child is part of a multiple birth and left-handed, we can just multiply down this branch. So 0 0.035 times 0 0.22. That ends up being 0 0.0077. We can do the same thing to find the probability a child from a single birth is left-handed. And let's actually do this for the not left-handed probabilities as well. Notice all these boxed probabilities add to one. That's because they represent any possible scenario. So now we can answer part A. What's the probability a randomly selected child is left-handed? We can simply add these two left-hand probabilities and we'll have our answer. So the probability a randomly selected child is left-handed is 0.11385. Now for part B, we're trying to find the probability of multiple given their left. And we actually have this formula on the formula sheet. It's going to be the probability of left and multiple divided by the probability of left. So we can use our tree diagram. The probability of left and multiple is 0 0.0077. And the probability of left is what we found in part A. So I got about 0 0.0676. Now for part C, it actually fits the binomial setting. A helpful acronym for checking this setting is BINS. So first, let's see if it's binary. Since each child is left or not, there's only two outcomes, so it's binary. Next, we have to check for independence. Since the children are selected randomly, um, each child's leftness is independent of the other children's leftness selected in the sample. Now, we're probably sampling without replacement, so we should check the 10% condition here too. So we're gonna have to assume that there's at least 200 births in this region. Um, next, we need a fixed number of trials. They're selecting exactly 20 children, so that's a fixed number. And then the probability of success has to be the same for each trial. And in this case, the probability of left is fixed at 0.11385. Now to do this calculation on the calculator, you press second, VARS, and you go to binome CDF. For trials, we're gonna put 20. For probability of success, 0.11385. And the x value, it gets a little tricky. We want to find the probability that at least three of the children are left-handed. So we're actually going to put a 2 here. What this will do is calculate the probability we get 0, 1, or 2 children in the sample of 20 that are left-handed. In other words, it will calculate the complement. So all we need to do now is do 1 minus that, and we'll have the probability of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way up to 20 children being left-handed. So there's our answer. If you liked my explanation of this problem, you might like my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It has 100 problems in it, and every single problem has a YouTube video like this explaining every single step, every single calculator command, everything. So a lot of classes this year have used this book for a study aid for the AP exam, and some teachers have even used it for a flipped classroom design.